Be and is you, we go die. If you is die, eh? My English will wake you up. My cousin sister, give it to you this day. Money? Yes. Well, let her lay, I don't take over. But first, I don't give her the proof. Actor Mike Ezorie is out with his first production, his first movie, Brother Jeko. It's a comedy movie and everybody is wondering, what is Mike going to do in this movie? I mean, we know Mike to be the action guy, the top guy, the serious guy. But then, we're here to find out. And of course, we want to know what people are expecting from this movie. It's Brother Jeko and we're live at Film House IMAX to experience the first effect from Brother Jeko, the movie by Mike Ezorie. It's Red Carpet Vibes on Your Ninja TV. My name is Moses Akarele. They call me the slickest and the smoothest. And like every other time, I hooked up with Jim's Clothing for this amazing wear. The shirt is by Jim's Clothing, and this also is by Jim's Clothing. Recap Vibe starts now. My name is Moza Kareli. Don't go nowhere. Red Carpet Vibes. Tell me, you know Mike? Yes, I know him. Uh, okay, so usually, if you want to describe Mike as an actor, what would you say? <laughs> Let me not say it before we meet on the other side. <laughs> Mike is uh, offering in the action set. He's actually he's a good actor, but it's really, really, it's strange seeing the com comedy, yeah, comedy arena. You know. So you know. What is your expectation from? I mean, comedy, brother Joku, Mike. Really? I'm just going to do this and wait and, wait and see how it's going to turn out. Okay, so you've seen the trailer of the movie? Yes, I have. Yeah, you know the characters in this movie? Yes. Okay, what are the expectations? I mean, there's funny bone in it. There's Wi-Fi that is yeah, there's clean the drunk. There's Nedu. So many funny characters in this movie. Oh. From all of this, see that. okay. I'm expecting uh, to, uh, I don't know, to laugh. Like, I'm expecting that my ribs will probably be off by the time the movie is over. I'm expecting a very hilarious movie. I'm expecting a bomb. Wrote to me, you're a filmmaker, you're an actor. Tell me, what are you expecting from Mike? I mean, this is a new piece for him, this is production for him for the first time. And then his brother Joku, it's not a usual love story and everything. What are you expecting from him? Well, um, one thing I know Mike for is he's an awesome actor from day one. You know, these are one of the people I look up to while I was still coming up as an actor. Anyways, and um, I've seen the teaser of uh, Brother Joku and trust me, I was, I was blown away. Because I saw that multiple character, characterization of Brother Joku and I'm longing to see the full end movie. What is this experience like? Well, it's, it's beautiful. That's the the, 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 the whole truth. I mean, working with Mike, working with um, the director Charles Wagby, um, uh, Funny Bone, um, Wolf Fire Father, and every other person that was in the movie. I mean, the experience was beautiful. First, Mike is towing a new line. It doesn't do comedy. But let's talk about you being in the movie now. There's Nedu in the movie, there's Clean the Drunk, there's Funny Bone, funny people like you. Yeah. It's how did you cope with them on set? <laughs> Well, I said everybody that laughs on set is going to pay fine. So everybody behave themselves because it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> like working? It was fun. I mean, they kept me in my comfort zone, which is comedy. Well, uh, as an actor, uh, there are no limitations. Uh, in as much as you're an actor, you can interpret. Mike is very, very good with his act. He's somebody that a lot of uh, actors look up to in terms of interpretation. Uh, of rules and what have you so uh, it's not just a question of who is a comedian or who is trying to do comedy Mike has acting in his blood so uh, just expect to go in there today and see the best of Mike because I already know him uh, we did a skit together uh, which was uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah I remember that yeah. a long long time ago you kidnapped him yeah and it's trended and for me that's that's serious comedy and uh, it's just an extension and more like a collection of more uh, of such acts put together in a stretch. One hand horsepower. You just help yourself like this. So we just saw Mike's first ever that production. How will you rate it over a hundred? <sighs> I'll rate it like about seventy because I was so like shocked. And for him to 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 make his first movie, 
his first English movie and um, it was really, really, really nice. It was beautiful. Um, comedy is not very easy to do. For, for you to make people laugh is not an easy task. But for me to laugh, because it takes me a while to laugh to any comedy movie, but I'll give it to him. He did a very fantastic job there. Yeah, it was really, really, really nice. I think it's a very good effort. Um, the fact that um, he didn't um, only want to stay here in Nigeria and wants to go, you know, in the diaspora, especially in the African countries, and want to, you know, merge and work together with them. I think it's a very good effort, and that's a nice job, though. Oh, let me say, if I want to read the movie, I think I will read it like, um, let me say, 95%. 195 yes why, why so <laughs> honestly i don't i don't want the movie to end like that i love it because i i want the movie to continue like the like like that like going like going like going because it's fine it's all the same fine let me say comedy movie but it's so funny there's one particular man i think there's one of a, one particular actor the very tall very giant i wish to see that man honestly <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed with the technical work Technically, it's um, it's a beautiful one, and then I wasn't expecting to see Mike in such an um, you know hilarious character. He really swept me off my feet, and um, I'm proud of him. You know, Mike for his phone, you know, his all packaging kind of character. That was a bomb. I'll give him 90 over 100. Yes. Um, honestly, I am so happy. I give him kudos for um, at least attempting to to do something like this and it's a big one and very entertaining um, we've not gotten there but we're we're moving to that point yes I think um, I will rate him <laughs> I don't know it's a very good movie you know why um, anytime I'm hanging out with Mike he's always the one making us laugh when he's hanging out with comedians when he's hanging out with comedians Instead of um, maybe who, who are supposed to be the guys cracking jokes, but Mike will make you laugh. So um, I, 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 I saw it coming, like, okay, this guy, okay, I always know him to play the um, um, gentleman in movies, lover boy and everything, everything. But I don't really know that if this guy uh, 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 um, tries his hand in comedy, anything comic, he's going to kill it. And that's what he has done today, so I'm not surprised. The truth is, I never knew Mike could do this. I'd even see it coming, and um, this is a beautiful one, gorgeous, excellent. Oh my God, Mike just rose the bar one more time. Trust me, I didn't even see it coming. It's awesome, I laughed all through. I've been telling him I'm so proud of him. Like the script, the story, I think he just brought everything out, and, and I'm really impressed. This, is, this movie is um, 97 percent over 100. I'll keep 3% for some reasons known to me because I'm not in the movie. That's why I'm holding on to 3%. I'm not in the movie. I was supposed to actually be in the movie, but it was about that time that um, I had to travel with my wife out of the country. And so I missed out on that part. But it's, it's worth it. The I was blown away. I mean, it's Mike. I was actually expecting something very funny like this, but I didn't know it was going to be this. Beautiful, awesome. You all should go watch this movie. It's amazing. Amazing. So if you have to read the movie about, say, 10, how do you rate it? Wow. 10 and a half. <laughs> so before now, you've seen everybody come out here to see yeah. people have been written. How do you feel? I know you were saying happy, happy all through the movie, but then how do you really feel now? I'm happy, 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 happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what should people expect from, from this movie now? I mean, you saw the, you saw the reception at, at, the, at the cinema right there. Feel good movie. A movie that um, at the end of the day, you'll be able to say, okay, uh, um, the African cinema is going somewhere uh, with a smile to it. And I'm happy that Brother Jeku has that answer. Uh, of a movie that creates that bridge that connects other parts of Africa. All right, guys, we've come to the end of another exciting episode of Red Carpet Vibes on Your Niger TV. It's been fun chatting with everybody. Uh, everybody who came on the carpet looking very fine and just like me, hooking up with so many designers to make them look very dapper. Until next episode, this day of trouble, guys. And don't forget, the best place to be is our YouTube channel where you can get all the vibes from every Red Carpet and so many much fun things to watch on our YouTube channel, Your Niger Entertainment. Till then, uh, Brother Joko, what do you think? I think he's very happy and until next episode of Start of Trouble, my name is Moses Akarele and this is Recovery Vibes on Your Ninja TV. Till then, I'm out. <laughs>